I've been attacked. I've been attacked twice. Recently. Twice in one week. Yeah, I got run over right. last week. Who by? Just some random guy in a car. He's been going around attacking, attacking all the girls. So you don't feel safe here at all? No. I think it's probably a bad thing because there's children in residential yeah. areas and it's not, it's not for children yeah. to be seen. The small Yorkshire community of Holbeck, with a population of 5,500 at the last census, lies just a mile or so south of the booming financial district of Leeds, one of the richest cities in the north. At first sight, it seems that trickle-down economics has had an effect here. Holbeck appears to be a desirable place in which to raise a family and buy a home. One national newspaper has rated Holbeck one of the best and most inexpensive places in the country for young families to live. The biggest draw is the raise of affordable terraced houses from just £85,000 the paper gushed, alongside an upbeat account of a new community theatre group, upping the creative ante, whatever that means, and a swanky new gym offering top-notch equipment and a high-protein macro-based meal service. Yet for some inexplicable reason, the paper managed to overlook some of Holbeck's more dubious features. Among these is an endless supply of half-dressed prostitutes who now operate in broad daylight, just a few hundred yards from the local park and close to a primary school. They, or rather the violent pimps and drug dealers who control them, have turned Holbeck, once a respectable inner-city district, into an area blighted by vice. Now the residents are fighting back with one local Facebook group posting pictures of curb crawlers and their car registration numbers. As I found this week when I travelled into the city, the area has become a magnet for those seeking casual commercial sex. And locals are furious about the sex industry's invasion of the area. That they feel safer actually uh, in the residential areas, uh, which is good for the women, but not so good for the residents who have yeah. to endure a cars patrol in the area and then sex acts yeah. happening uh, just outside the doors in cars yeah. or sometimes in the open air anyway. Not in the daytime, apparently on the night time it's really bad round here on the night time. Over, over areas where they sell the drugs, there's electric scooters flying up and down with kids on them. Apparently the drug dealers buy the electric scooters for the kids so they can deliver the drugs. Many local people feel that sex workers in Holbeck have become much more visible since the City Council recently abandoned an experimental scheme which decriminalised prostitution in a section of Holbeck known as the Managed Approach Zone. The idea was to confine the prostitutes to a specific area of a local industrial estate where nobody lives. Introduced in 2014, the scheme, on which the Council spent £200,000, was highly controversial. It was regarded as Britain's first legalised red light district. Hunters and prostitutes were effectively given an amnesty if they conducted their business within the zone and after day off. The scheme was intended to make life safer for some of the city's most vulnerable women. But many people thought it was ill-conceived from the outset. Many residents were deeply opposed to the plan, insisting any amnesty would encourage prostitutes to come into the area of the business and now, some say that this is precisely what has happened. It was an eye-opener when, gosh, when was it? 2014, the council started the experiment of yeah. the managed zone to try and keep the prostituted women safe while they were uh, working on the streets. Right. They and seemed, to, seemed to suddenly yeah. appear in great numbers. Do you think that experiment worked or not? I guess to some measure, yes, it kept some of the women safe, but there, there had been reports of, uh, like, the, the poor Dario Pianca. The one who uh, died, girl, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who, who died very shortly after, if not just a few months after the scheme were declared permanent yeah. uh, in that industrial area of Holbeck, and there were one or two uh, sort of very serious uh, assaults uh, on prostitutes mm. as well. Far worse, though, the locals claim, is that since the scheme has been abandoned, the sex workers have simply moved off the managed approach zone and into the residential streets. They've the, the moved from the managed area up to the residential area now, and outside people's houses, outside the shops, hanging about, pestering people, begging for money. It, it, it's just awful, it's just terrible. 
One local community group, Save Our Eyes, has been campaigning against the sex industry's presence in Holbeck for several years. They've now set up a Facebook page that controversially names and shames persistent curb brawlers. They publish their mugshots and their car registration numbers. The most prolific offenders receive the punch of the week tag. I know that occasionally number plates are published on Facebook yeah. and uh, they're, they're named punter of the week. Do you think that's right? <sighs> It's, is it wrong? Maybe is is the question. If these guys, it, it's a risk, isn't it? If these guys uh, are known to be picking up a known yeah. prostitute, then it's like uh, it's like saying somebody's a paedophile isn't yeah. it? And, and reporting them yeah. allegedly for yeah. living next door to a school or or to a, a house with young children in, and mm. and that can be just a, a grudge just as easily. When I first visited Holbeck some years ago to report on the scheme, although there was some evidence of the detritus of sex and drugs, condoms, needles, and so on, near the park and in the local cemetery. Now, however, it is impossible for many local women to walk in the streets around the park without being propositioned. And this resident describes how there is a hostel for sex offenders in the area as well. The victims, mm. some of them certainly are victims of uh, uh, drug abuse or pimps or financial, uh, situations or maybe even being trafficked uh, I into the country and I don't think it's a good thing for any woman mm -hmm. uh, given that there's a, 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 a hostel for sex offenders uh, down in, on Holbeck Lane it seems crazy to have brought an experiment to uh, for uh, prostitution mm -hmm. to safeguard prostitutes uh, in that very area sure. uh, and, and therefore the kind of men that are attracted uh, in terms of punters or uh, just searching for sex workers that it attracts into the, the area. It's not a good thing. No. Uh, and certainly women stood around on street corners and children asking what's that woman doing their mother in a, a knickers and a bra because I saw the same reports on uh, Facebook myself the other day. The council says that the managed approach zone helped reduce the overall number of sex workers on the streets. But when the mail drove into the site of the scheme on Wednesday evening, we found at least a dozen prostitutes selling their bodies. One woman, Caroline, who told the mail she is 46 but looks much older, said she felt safer when the MA policy was in place and the police kept more of an eye on the girls. I have been attacked. I've been attacked twice. Recently. Twice in one week. Yeah, I got run over right. last week. Who by? Just some random guy in a car. He's been going around attacking, attacking all the girls. Yeah. You don't really see the police now. Right, okay. And then when you call them when there's an incident, it takes like 40, 50 minutes for them to come to you. Right, okay. The police have had him in custody and they've let him go right. and they've had him in custody but and let him go. They haven't charged him yet? No, he's not been charged yet. Right, okay. So you don't feel safe here at all? No. It's difficult to find an easy solution to the immense problems of Helbeck. It appears that the managed approach did work for a while, but it was costly to run, and the police simply don't have the resources to keep the prostitution under control. The social services should get a bit more involved with it, because to be honest with you, I, I, the social services don't need to care anyway, and the police don't seem to care, because they're just driving round and round. There could be two, two or three prostitutes on the street corner, and the police will just drive past them. You know, it's a, it, it's as though they don't want anything to do with them. Meanwhile, investment in the area continues. The British Library is considering opening a multi-million pound outpost here, and the slow process of gentrification is continuing, much to the council's delight. The people of Holbeck, however, aren't that bothered about gentrification, or for that matter, gleaming new gyms providing macro-based food diets. They just want to go about their lives in peace, without being propositioned for sex or intimidated by the pimps. That's surely not too much to ask.